We're bringing back a popular format with today's video, which will be in the form of a quiz on an IFR approach. On this flight, we're escaping the horrendous weather in coastal California to get up to Mammoth Lakes in Yosemite. We'll be doing the RNAV approach into 27, the only approach into this airport. We're coming from the south, so we're joining the approach from the Bishop VOR. First question, if you lose GPS function, what's the minimum altitude you should climb to? 12,000 feet, remain at altitude, 15,500 feet, or 11,000 feet. We'll put up a timer and give you a few seconds. It's 15,500 feet. This is the minimum safe altitude, as indicated in the symbol on the top part of the plan view. It's for emergency use only, such as if we lose our only means of legally navigating this approach, the GPS. For question two, let's have a look at the profile view of the approach plate. There's a shaded triangular type figure here called a stipple. What does this indicate? Absence of obstacles on the visual segment, vertical guidance is provided down to the runway, vertical guidance is provided down to the missed approach point, or straight in only approaches are allowed. It means that the visual segment, that is the approach segment from the MDA down to the runway, is clear of visual obstacles. Specifically, no obstacles penetrate a 34 to 1 slope line from the runway threshold to the MDA. If there had been an obstacle here, there'd be no stipple. This is an LNAV approach. There is no vertical guidance at all, so that stipple doesn't indicate anything about that. For question 3, let's say we're planning a circle to land. How should you enter the traffic pattern to land on runway 9? Make right traffic, left traffic, use either side of the runway, or circling is never allowed. We need to make left traffic to land on runway 9. The notes state that circling south of the runway is not allowed. That'd be a right-hand traffic, so we stay to the north, making left traffic. Circling is allowed on this approach, but not at night. Next question. What's the final approach course? 247 degrees, 259 degrees, 270 degrees, which is the runway heading, or 320 degrees? It's 259. This is a sort of a rare approach that has a turn right at the final approach fix, where we'll turn from the intermediate segment course of 247 to join final on course 259. This isn't aligned with the runway, which we'll have to join the extended centerline for once we gain visual contact. Last question deals with the holding procedure. Any hold that keeps us within the protected area is legal. But is there one type of hold entry that is the least preferable out of the three? Is it direct, teardrop, parallel, or are they all equally okay? Again, you can do anything that keeps you protected, but a parallel entry makes the least sense as it involves a large right turn followed by a series of abrupt reversals to get inbound. A direct entry works best here, but a teardrop may be fine too. How'd you do? Let us know in the comments and be sure to check out IFR Ground School at the link here or in the description.